What is up, everybody? Superverse here today, and Sony Sony has finally ended the silence, <laughs> the silence of announcements, the silence of any new products coming out. They are finally giving us a showcase. For those who invest into the PS5, we're getting a state of play with a 30-minute plus broadcast this Thursday, so that'll be tomorrow. Um, apparently, there's gonna be 14 PS5 and PSVR2 titles including a look at PlayStation Studios titles arriving later this year. This sentence is very concerning. I don't care about VR2 games, as the vast majority of the game community don't care about VR2 stuff at all. But I'm looking forward to these PlayStation Studio titles they say that's coming, that we're going to have later this year. Hopefully there's some big budget stuff, some actual AAA games, because it's like, where have they been at? Hopefully we get to see some of Sony's first party projects, but definitely a step in a good direction because those definitely getting spooky for a while. Even the diehard Sony fanboys was like, even they was breaking at a point in time. It was like, bro, why why are they being so silent over their PlayStation? Why are they why are they so silent? But now we're getting we're getting to stay the place. So it's great for me as far as who's invested in PlayStation ecosystem. I can see what games that coming in the future. Yeah, because it's just been like I've just been using it to play either movies or play third party games. And I was like, I've just been like, what do, why do I even own this PS5? So hopefully this gives me some confidence in the PlayStation brand. Hopefully it's good. I, I have faith that this is going to be a good conference, it's going to be a good set of play. So 30 minutes. Hopefully there's not too much fluff. There's not too much VR nonsense because if half of this is gonna be VR, then this it's an L in my opinion. Like I don't show, I don't care what game you show if you're showing half of this being VR titles, which the vast majority of people don't care about. And this is a big L in my opinion. But I'm just glad they're finally doing something. <laughs> I'm glad. I guess the outrage on the internet about Sony being silent it just got to them or something. But I'm glad it's, they're doing something now because this was wild. Um, what are your expectations for the state of play? Us, everything. I mean, I'm not gonna go that drastic. I mean, but I want to see some. I want to see, see what they got cooking, what they've been doing, what these studios they have been doing. Well, like, <laughs> like we know that uh, Nice and Old Republic remake has been pretty much missing in action. We don't know what's been going on with that studio. Is that game gonna be shown here? Hopefully. Sucker Punch, they work on Ghost of Tsushima 2. Hopefully, they give us an update on that game. Like, all these first party games, these first party projects they got coming out, we want to know what is the deal. What is What are they doing over there at PlayStation? Not just a tired old remake or remaster, the Lego edition of our game that you have a PlayStation franchise. We don't want that. We want to see what new stuff you have. For me, particularly, I want to see what new stuff you have. I know some Sony some some Sony fans were happy about PS2 titles being released on the PS5. That's still just hilarious to me. Like we're in 2024, and people won't play PS2 games. Like that's just wild to me. But back to this topic: state of PC ports. Thank you, Sony. <laughs> that would be kind of dirty if they just announced PC ports. PlayStation games are going to PC at this conference. So that would be kind of hilarious. Um, let's see. It's worth nothing that Sony will also hold his business meeting update for the game and network services segment today. What does that have to do with anything? I don't care about their business agreements. I only care about the games they're bringing out. That's all I care about. Kingdom Hearts 4 is not going to be re-revealed at a random state of play. I am looking forward to that game, too. We haven't heard anything from that game, like a trailer from a, a conference ago, maybe a few years ago but definitely want to see the update on Kingdom Hearts 4 I don't care if Xbox shows it off or PlayStation shows it off I definitely want to see the update on that 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 franchise and it's like I know some people like to hate on the Kingdom Hearts franchise the the series but those are some amazing games each one of those games the mainline ones I don't play the spinoff ones but Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3 all fantastic games I would love to, I would love to hear more about this fourth one but let's keep going uh, let's see. 30 minutes. <laughs> I mean, we could, it could be longer, but it could be nonsense that people don't care about. I'm assuming with 30 minutes, they're just killing out, taking out all the filler, all the nonsense people don't care about. I'm like, I got, I got some type of faith in this 30 minutes. 
Because they know they're going to get... They, this is the thing. Some of you know they're going to get clowned if they show absolutely nothing. Like, I'm definitely going to be the number one person clowning them. Got, clowning them if they show nothing else of worth. And they just show mostly VR titles. Oh, they're definitely getting clowned. So, hopefully, I got faith in 30 minutes. I got faith in this 30-minute presentation. Um, the time has finally come. Manifest and return. Okay, people have Ghost of Shima 2. Which they do, they should show this since the other game besides creating us so much negative press right now, even though it's not really negative press because it's still like the number one most ported game, especially in Japan that Assassin's Creed Shadows. But since that game is getting so much negative press, they might as well sort of show their own uh, samurai game exclusive one at that. So that would be a good PR move right here. So hopefully they got something to be showing for this right here. That would make a lot of sense. What is this? Final Fantasy 9? I think this is going to get a remake or something. I doubt it. Ghost of Tsushima 2 and Spider-Man 2 Venom DLC. <laughs> see, I want to see this much hype, but I think a lot of people are going to be surely disappointed. Like, I don't think they're going to show all this stuff. If they do, I'll be impressed, but I doubt it. Like, Mike's pitch is, is it going to be too high? I just want to know what they're doing, honestly. I just want to know something. Give us any type of information on what's going on over there with the PlayStation side of things. But I think some people are kind of getting overhyped. Like, they're going to show the Spider-Man 2 Venom. I mean, I mean, it has been up for a while. That game has been up. So they could possibly show that. I doubt it, though. Any type of Spider-Man DLC or whatever. People want to see Gravity Rush 2. Okay. I am so excited for the state of PC ports. <laughs> I think there's a lot of PC gamers who are making this comment. They're taking jabs at PlayStation gamers because their games are now, most of their games are on PC now. That time when I'm being only on PlayStation is kind of dead at this point because their games are on PC. I mean, it's not day and date, but it's getting closer and closer each release at this point in time. Uh... Little Big Planet 4? I mean, I guess. Those games don't sell that well or do that well, but I guess there is a niche audience who likes those, that like likes that franchise. I'm not gonna hate on it. Top 5 Wishes Ghost of Tsushima sequel, Spider Man 2 DLC, Official Look at Marvel's Wolverine, Infamous 1 and 2 port slash remakes, and what's the last one? Spider Man The Great Web Announcement. They got cancelled, didn't it? Okay, he adds he's delusional at the last part because Spider-Man got that great web thing got canceled. Infamous one of two ports remakes, I would definitely buy that day one. I love the Infamous, uh, first Infamous and the sequel. I love those games so much. But the only way you can play those games if you got a PS5 is you got to stream those games with their crappy service, and I don't want to do that. So it's either you buy a PS3 or you can't play those games. So I would definitely support that. That would be the remake or remaster. I definitely support. I usually trash them for making remakes and remasters all the time. But I would definitely support that one if they did that one. But and Wolverine, <laughs> I think it might be too early to show game. Well, I don't know. That stuff did get leaked, so they could take advantage of that and show the stuff, show the gameplay of that. Who knows? More people won't see Wolverine, which is kind of uh, people. It's pretty obvious people want to see that one. <laughs> Sly Cooper fans are coping right now. Oh man, that series is dead. It was like once they started making Ghost, Ghost of Shima, that that franchise, they, they just that, that that they had just abandoned that franchise at that point in time. Uh, PSVR 2 dead. Sony has abandoned PSVR 2. PSVR 2 has no games. Meanwhile, here in the real world, there will be PSVR 2 games in the upcoming state of play. <laughs> really? I mean, really? Whatever, bro. The 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 five people who bought PSVR 2 can be excited, I guess. Like, okay, yeah, yeah people ask for some niche stuff at this point in time. I grabbed Rush 2, I guess, but yeah, people want to see the big stuff. Spider-Man goes to Tsushima and Wolverine, but I think people's expectations might be too high. I don't. My expectations aren't too, that high, but I do want to see some stuff they got coming. They, they, I do want to see something cooking up because it's been a while without any type of new announcements, major announcements at that. So, 
Hopefully this show, this showcase pays off. I'm gonna do my review regardless whether it's good or bad tomorrow. So we we, we shall see, as the people say. So definitely want to see your comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.